In this episode of OS First Timer, Dinah says goodbye to a favourite little rodent and attempts to use Windows 10 solely with the keyboard. And later, as suggested by an old Patreon supporter known as Inky Dink, Dinah will attempt to write a story with Windows 10 set to the Deborah keyboard layout. Will Dinah be able to successfully navigate or will the lack of a mouse drive her insane? Keep watching to find out. So today you're going to be trying out Windows 10, but you're going to have no mouse. Oh, you find a way to bring a mouse into any video without the computer mouse. <laughs> Come on mouse, go away. That's right, <laughs> go away. This is a no mouse video. You're going to be using the keyboard as the mouse. Nice So without thing. the computer mouse. Yeah. Okay, so here you are on the Windows 10 desktop. Your first task, and as you can see you've absolutely got no mouse, is what time is it? 5.58. Well, that was pretty easy, wasn't <laughs> Because it? I didn't need a mouse to... <laughs> yeah, that's the only task that I think you'll find <laughs> that easy on this. You've actually used an operating system without a mouse before. We did that opera... I can't remember its name now. Mm. But there was a video we did an operating system and it didn't have a... It was a mouseless operating system. But this is an operating system that most people would use with a mouse and you're about to use it without a mouse. And it's entirely Why would possible. I do that? Why would I do something that most people don't do? Well, it's just interesting. You know, anyway, let's go. Let's just see what you can do. Like, this, this is a fish out of water type situation. Okay. okay. The next task is usually write, save, open, and delete a text document. Now, Inky Dink actually wants you to write a story using a Deborah keyboard layout, which is going to be a little bit funny. So, what we'll do is we'll wait until the end of the video to do that. For now, we're going to skip that task and we're going to go straight on to calculate 684 divided by 16. Well, I'm pressing the arrow hoping that I get to the Windows thing, but oh, wait a sec, Windows thing, maybe this. You opened the start menu. Oh, Congratulations. That's the Windows thing. Yes. And I thought, yeah, You okay. opened it. Okay. Yep, now you're in the calculator. Yes! <laughs> you're actually doing it. Now, what you're was the it. numbers? What, what's the calculation? The calculation is... I forgot. Uh, 654 divided... Pity that's not a touch screen. Yeah. I could just... 654 touch it. divided by 908. Okay, divided by... I specifically chose divided by to make it hard for you. Oh, Nine. but you did it. <laughs> you knew. <laughs> divided by what? 968. Okay. Okay, and press equals 0 0.675. There Fantastic. we go. Fantastic, that task is done. Now comes a much, much, much harder task. Change the desktop background. I don't even know how to close this. Oh, that's an interesting one, eh? <laughs> I'll just go I'll, back to the menu. I'll tell you what, if there you want, go. you're allowed to use Google to find out how you can close programs using, you can type in like, close keyboard shortcut. Maybe you escape from it. Oh, oh um, we don't want to do this. Do not restart now. Um, oh. Let me just see. For the purpose of this video, let's just reschedule. There we go. The calculator thing doesn't need to be closed anyway, because I completed that task. The task doesn't say to close the calculator thing yeah, at the end, but so there we go. Just like in the other Next videos, things. when you tried out Mac and you didn't know how to close Windows, you're dragging them out of the screen, you still need to close them, okay? <laughs> anyway, the next task, so you're going to change the desktop background. Now, this is actually hard because you're now in a virtual machine and Windows is not activated. Because I don't think it's going to be here. What do you usually do? I know what I'll do. I want to go to search and then... By the way, though, I'll, what do you usually do? Oh, you normally right-click. But there's no <laughs> mouse to right-click. There click. is a way to technically right-click the desktop using the keyboard. But first of all, you would maybe have to this, get out of the start menu. Maybe I'll get another Windows. Those, those two things do yeah. the same thing. Maybe Alt something. Um, escape. Escape. Oh, I thought Clear. I could close that. Zeros. How about you Google it? You want to find out how. Yeah, to but play. how do I even Google it? You just open Edge. The Windows thing. This is all. I feel like I'm absolutely disabled. Here. <laughs> Don't well, have imagine a... trying out. You're going to be trying out an operating system blind one day. Windows 10 without seeing the screen. You have the keyboard and mouse, but no screen. So that'll be another interesting type tryout. Are we looking for I for Internet? You're looking for Edge. Microsoft Edge, to be precise. It's not there. It actually was there. You went past it. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Microsoft Edge, you are in it. How to close programs in Windows 10 without, without um, mouse. 
Oh, I can't even select the <coughs> one I want now. You can scroll up and down. There is a way to go to them without a mouse. Oh. There is a way. Well, how, how do <laughs> I do that now? Well, you can Google tab. it. Oh, tab. You figured I it out. Tab. tab. Yes. So every time you press tab, what happens? It went to it. Yeah. How to close a program. But every time mouse. you press tab, it would actually take yeah. you down. Um, Alt F4. Okay. Yep. Alt and F4. Alt F4. Okay, it's gone. There you go. You got rid of that. Now you can right click on the desktop. Oh. And I'll give you a clue. It's a single button. Look at that whole keyboard. There's one button. One button, it's not an alt and something, it's just one single button. Home? No. no, it's not that. Instead of pressing every button possible, just look at the keyboard and think, imagine you were right-clicking the desktop, and what happens when you right-click the desktop? What do you see? A, a menu come up. The only menu-looking thing to me is this button, so... Ah, What menu. just popped up. A menu. <laughs> there you go. Now I forgot what I was going to do after all that. What was You're I... changing the desktop background. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, Personalise. Fantastic. Now, because this version of Windows is not active, you're unable to use this screen to actually change your desktop background. Well, what was the point of this then? But there are other ways to change the desktop background. How else do you change your desktop background? If you're not going to personalise oh. and choosing one like this... Settings? No, no. How do you usually change it? Let's say well, you I wanted, just right-click. Well, let's say you wanted a desktop background of a seagull. What do you usually do? It's not default in Windows. They don't have a default oh, picture Google of a seagull. Oh, you Google search... You can Google search and set the And then the desktop set background. at the desk. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll go to Edge. What are you talking? Girl desktop. But how okay. are you going to actually get to... Oh, this is just so annoying. You reloaded. Oh, you went back. There should be a law stating that keyboards cannot be used without mice. <laughs> okay, that's it. This is too frustrating. Oh, I can't do anything. Maybe try again. How? Get in and out of Edge if you're stuck. I'm just going to go into another edge. That edge is silly. You could have Alt F forward that edge. That edge is oh, silly. Look, I'm just... <laughs> like, that edge is silly. Get most a better people, edge. Most people think edge is silly, and most people do get a better edge. Well, I got a better edge. It's now. called Come Firefox. On. Now, or Chrome. Seagull... What, any browser that is not edge? background... <laughs> oh, why is it doing that? <laughs> you ought... Because they should be in opposite places there. They should... But you're saying and M and N shouldn't yes. be together on the keyboard. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so, now... There you go. You're in your Bing images. Now why won't... No, it's, it's going across... If it keep going... Oh, it's, it's going there. all there. these places. It's going on to each thing that you could possibly click on. Oh. Now it's gone through all of those. Keep going. Surely there's a... Oh, going. there we go. It's going into the images now. It's going onto that, yeah. Which one do you want? <laughs> you can't go back now. I want to go that one. That one? Okay. Yeah, he's a nice one. Enter. What are you going to so do? Ask Cortana about this picture. I'm like, <laughs> ask Cortana. What's she going to say about the picture? I'm trying to do tab to scroll down. Down. But... You're literally down. There you go. Save picture as... This is, I um, mean, saved pictures. You can save it on the desktop if you want. Is it in the desktop? No, it's in saved pictures. Okay, oh, you're in this PC now. Oh, well, I have now to it's start down at the again. Bottom. There you go. Now you're in it. So, desktop. Okay. Right, now you can save it. <laughs> I'll just do Control S. No, you can't do that. Oh, well, that's supposed to be save. No, but you're in the save dialog. That's Control S opens the save dialog. Now you're in the save as type. Now you hide folders. And now it's save. There we go, you saved it. All of that. Okay, now Alt F4. Yes, I do. I just want to close everything. <laughs> That's the other one you had open. Well, Remember it didn't close it? everything. No, close the tabs of the one that you had open. Okay, the now. seagull is on the desktop. So I can see it going through everything at the bottom there. Oh, wait, it just went to the recycle bin and you missed it. Oh. Keep going. Did you see it go to the bin just before? Okay, that, oh, you missed it again. But I don't want the recycle bin, I want the seagull. Yeah, but that's just selecting the desktop. So what you're going to want is to, once it gets to the bin, you want to then move to the seagull because it's the same. Okay, you're on the desktop. Okay, you've missed it again. <laughs> just, okay, you're on the recycle bin. Now what are you going to do? Go down and I'm going to... So now you're looking at a picture of a seagull? Is that what you wanted to do? You wanted to look at it? No, I want to say... Oh, wait a sec. You wanted the right... <laughs> Oh, back. You can't now. You've got to open it in the Photos app. So open it in the Photos I app. I don't want to you open it. You just have it. to and then get out of it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Beautiful. There, yep, um, that's the one. So Alt F4, gone. Yeah, okay. And now I'm... you've got to try and get to it again. 
Oh, wait a second, it was on it. Really? Oh, oh, wait, wait, now, now it's restarting. Oh, I don't know. You accidentally restarted. But how did I do that? I did because it's wanting to do that update. Now it's getting Windows. <laughs> Windows just can't pick a worse time to update right in the middle of a video. Windows update. I hate Windows update. Oh, I don't know how long this update's going to take. Okay, you go and I'll tell you when it's done. We are now back after Windows update had interrupted us and that was very annoying. But now you're ready to set the Down? seagull as your desktop background. Oh, But instead no. of doing it, you opened the photos <laughs> up yet again. Okay, um, alt for gone. See, you're actually remembering stuff now. Okay. Uh, there we go. And now what? Oh, nice, now, nice. Set as background. Here we go. And... Done. Congratulations. There he is. My saviour. You him as the desktop background. I wish you could get me a mouse now. No, you don't get a mouse. you just got a seagull. Now, anyway, what you're going to do now is something a little bit tricky. You've got to try. You're going to have two minutes. Mm. You've got to write a short story about a boy who goes to the shop buys three things then comes home you just have to say you know johnny went to the shop do i say it <laughs> no 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 you don't say it we already did that in the speech vistas <laughs> that was funny recognition thing anyway in a different video with ben um but this time you're writing a story about a boy he goes to a shop he buys three th items and he comes back home and you've only got two minutes to write it using the keyboard oh. okay I mean, okay. it, it, well, just story don't let me start writing. Don't time me until I, I get I into the... I'll, I'll have the timer on your iPhone. Until I get into the the thing. Oh, no, you open Notepad. Go ahead, open Notepad. You don't have to worry about that. You open Notepad. I'm going to only start it... To when I start yeah, writing the story. Yeah, when you start okay. writing. There is a catch, but you don't worry about the catch right now. So, mm -hmm. anyway, start opening open Notepad and then... Um, we will very quickly, you know, figure out what the catch is. Something fantastic about Windows 10 and opening stuff is you just press that and you type what you want. Oh. Notepad. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll type it. Um, but I was looking at the Office thing <laughs> rather than... No, don't get Office. No, okay. Yeah, just do Notepad. Okay. So you can just type in Notepad. Isn't that a much easier? You could have done that with Edge too. Yeah, uh, but I would Edge. have eventually got into it anyway by selecting yeah, the Notepad exactly. there. Um, but anyway, I'm in Notepad Anyway, now. we are going to start. Where is this Notepad? This is your stopwatch. Oh, it's down there. Wait, I'll get it. <laughs> Did you hide it? No. You didn't want it last time. <laughs> no. Let's make it a bit smaller. Um, so I'm going to set the timer up now. Uh, the catch is there is a Dvorkian um, input style. Uh, anyway, oh, what? Now, what we're going to do... No, don't worry about it. you just got to write a story. Now you're going to have two minutes. Ready, set, and this will just be sitting here. I know what's going to happen. It's going to type in not the letters Ready, that I think it's going to type. set, and go. So you've got to write about a boy who goes to the shop. Uh, you've got a minute and 50 seconds <laughs> So this is Inky Dink wants you to write a story Who's shop. the egg? <laughs> <laughs> You're running uh, out of time. Uh, uh. <laughs> Thank goodness spacebar is spacebar, hey? Yeah. So a boy went to a shop and he bought three things. Can't it be a shorter story than that? Okay, a boy went to the shop. He just has to go to the shop. You've literally got... Uh, uh. What? <laughs> You've got... Uh, you're running out of time. You've got one minute left now. One minute. A bo so a boy went to the shop. That's all. It How are you? Oh, that'll do. <laughs> that'll Just do. where are you? A BX. Oh. A big X. A oh. B09. <laughs> a B09. Okay. A um. Bow. A boy. Oh no! No, I <laughs> can't, can't read it. Read it. <laughs> oh my goodness! You are losing this one. A, a bow. A bon, a bon boy. Oh, he was like a boy. A boy went to the shop. A bot. Oh. A bot went to the shop. Or well, maybe he was a bot. Bot. Robot. A bob. A, a boy. boy. A boy. I was okay. about to say bob will do. Um, you're running low on time. You got ten seconds left. A boy. Oh, Ahoy it's there. <laughs> this is not working. Oh, yet. where, where? Boy went and time up. That is it. So you're probably now wondering what is a Dvorak keyboard? I know it's a silly keyboard. That's not. This is the QWERTY one, which is the best one to use. But the Dvorak has a D V O R K R O was up there. Is it Dvor? Wait, no, the first the first ones are actually... Oh, really? um, Now, a way you could have actually made this a bunch easier for yourself is you could have just worked out what it was by pressing them all like that. Oh, and you then... You know, and then, and then looking at it. Of you course. You could have made yourself a little keyboard map. In fact, do you know what? I'll give you another go. You have oh. got two minutes. Let's, let's just give you another go. Two minutes to write a story. Ready, set, go. 
and you can write it below your little thing. <laughs> so you've got your little keyboard what? layout oh, here. Oh, there's also... Oh, okay. So you use those things too. But this silly keyboard doesn't even have all the letters. <laughs> this is confusing. Oh, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. R. Okay, boy. B. B. Oh, B. Oh, I found the Y. B. R. Uh, o is up here. Y. You've got one minute left. Were. Oh, no. <laughs> vent to the shop. He might have vent to the shop. <laughs> he's going to be venting if he's w trying to use these keyboard things. E. 40 seconds left. And. Somewhere here? <laughs> About 20 Went. seconds left. T T T, where's T T? Um T T. <laughs> okay, 15 seconds left. Went. You know where the T is? T. Oh, where was the ball? <laughs> Four, three. Two, two, one, oh. zilch. So very, very nice Well, he nice went try. somewhere, okay? Okay, anyway, He was a boy and he went. Let's talk about what the Dvorak keyboard is, because you're probably thinking, what is the Dvorak keyboard? To be precise It's here, an annoying keyboard. To be precise, um, we were looking at the uh, United States Dvorak's keyboard for right-handed people, okay? Now, anyway, what is the Dvorak keyboard? Well, first of all, you know the QWERTY keyboard, the one you're using right now? The best one, yes. The QWERTY keyboard was designed because back in the olden days, you know typewriter? Letters. Yeah. People were pressing keys, um, but they put the most commonly used letters on the thing furthest away from each other, right? Mm -hmm. Because what happened is you kept pressing two keys that were close together on a typewriter, it would jam the typewriter. Right. So the QWERTY thing was designed so that the letters that you'd most likely use together are, are further separated. apart. Yep, you get it? it? So that way, you know. Now, Dvorak was actually invented in 1936, and it's a much better keyboard um, system because it, it actually dramatically lowers, you know, repetitive strain injury. Mm -hmm. RSI because the keys are actually in a much more efficient way. In fact, I'm going to show you a little picture of a Dvorak keyboard now. Why didn't I have that picture up there while I was doing because it? Because that was, uh, I, it was part of the catch. I wanted to see how you go. Oh. Now, in a Dvorak keyboard system, you can actually see that 70% of the letters you use most commonly are actually in this row. Yeah, okay. Okay, in the QWERTY, only 32% of the letters you use most commonly are here, you see? So it has the most commonly used letters in this middle row, okay? Yeah. And it's much better, um, you know, for efficiency. If you learn this layout, you can type much faster, and it's also a lot safer for your health. But the reason we don't use Dvorak, or at least most people don't use Dvorak, I mean, you can buy Dvorak keyboards, is because of the fact that people are so used to QWERTY, it would be hard for us to kind of switch. Even though this is better, we can't switch because we're more used to this. Exactly. Okay. So, there we go. What was your experience like? Do you, f First of all, if you actually had a Dvorak keyboard, do you think it would have been easier? No, because I'm used to the layout no, of the do QWERTY. Do you think it would have been easier, like, if you had one with oh, the Oh, if I had labels, one, and yes, it, yeah. well, yes, because I know what B looks like, I know what I, you know, that's fine. But the fact that I had a QWERTY keyboard and I'm supposed to be using that to type the Dvorak yeah. layout, um, forget it. Just so you know, this image has actually come, I didn't create this image, this has mm. come from, um, a, I think it's Tech Quickie YouTube channel. Mm. Uh, have a little look at the link in the description for a video that explains the whole Dvorak and QWERTY thing. It's actually a very well made video and you guys should enjoy it. I'll link to that in the description. Mm -hmm. Now you just got to turn off the computer and also so, right now, do you feel... Just, Turn off the computer, no, just press the button. Do you feel that you've gained some experience in keyboard shortcuts and I have, but I'm never, ever going to be using that. I will always use a mouse. Okay. One thing I've learnt from this is there's no point having a computer unless you have a mouse. Okay, you know, see, Alt-Tab will just switch you between different things and you can yeah, learn well, different... Just you close everything. So you know Alt F4 now. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> you did Alt F4 so many times that shut down actually popped That's up. That's really, there we go. I, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As it and is. it says OK, go. There, there we, we go. go. So Done. Alt F4 also <laughs> shuts down the computer. That's another way to shut down the computer. Do you feel that you've gained some experience where if one day your mouse stopped working for whatever reason. If one day my mouse stopped working, my computer use would be stop working too. That's it. So you just never use a computer no. again? No. Well, I'll get another mouse. <laughs> I'll get it's another built mouse. into your computer. But let's say you're on a plane and they use Windows 10 to control their plane for some reason. It was some plane system that mm. uses Windows 10. Would you, in that situation, if they said, Oh no, Diana, the plane is going to crash. We've got no mouse. We don't know what to do. Would you be able to figure it out? And they want you to basically um, go, go onto a Google, open a voice on I'd the internet. I'd be saying thing. my prayers and be prepared to meet my creator. 
So That's what I'd be doing. No, I, I could not under stress and strain like that even concentrate to remember all the things But you'd be here. better equipped than those who have never tried using the keyboard with just the I would be better equipped, but only. under that sort of pressure, <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to perform. Would you try? Probably. <laughs> you try? <laughs> I'd love to see a movie based on that. Anyway, it's like you trying to open up Microsoft Edge, trying to call online, you know, a system, and then get a voice application, and then... But Phil, what? if... If I was in a plane, most likely you'd be travelling with me, so that just get you to do it. <laughs> no, no, but this is you've decided to travel alone. You want something? You're well, I'm never going to travel alone, <laughs> just in case that happens. Okay. I'll always travel I, with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but that's very unrealistic because I don't usually use Windows 10 as their main controller for their plane. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next video or the next episode of OS First Timer. See ya.